Welcome back to another short bit segment from IG Apps. In this tutorial, I'll be covering what snack bars are and how to create them. So let's get started. Let's first take a look at the official documentation for snack bars from the Android developers uh, website. So it says over here that snack bars show a brief message at the bottom of the screen on the mobile device and lower left on larger devices. Snack bars appear above all other elements on the screen and only one can be displayed at a time. They also automatically disappear, uh, disappear after timeout or after user interaction. So let's get to work in Android Studio and create this. So I'm going to head on over to my Android Studio project. And here it is. Now I'm going to go to activity main XML. And what I'm going to do is create a button, which when pressed will display our snack bar. So I'm going to wrap content, wrap content. Since I have a relative layout, I'm going to say Android layout center and parent. And I'm going to set that equal to true. I'm also going to increase the text, uh, text size, so to 25 SP. Now, um, the important thing is that I provide an ID for both the button and our relative layout, and you'll see why we, the relative layout also needs an ID. So I'm just going to call it um, rel, R-E-L. Now I'm going to go to mainactivity.java, and over here, I'm going to create an object for my relative layout, and an object for my button. Then I'm going to bind them basically to their um, XML ID. And then I'm going to set an on click listener for my button. So set on click listener new view dot on click listener. And this is the part where we're going to be creating our snack bar. So snack bars are really similar to toast, which are also messages that can be displayed by the Android operating system. And if you don't know how to make toast, I recommend that you check that video out. But now I'm going to create my snack bar object. You can see that if we type snack bar over here and then just create our object, you can see that it says cannot resolve symbol snack bar. And that's why what we have to do is go to our app level build.gradle file and we have to add another implementation. So I'm going to say implementation and then com.android.support.design uh, 28.0.0. And now I'm going to sync the project. So now you can see that error has gone. To continue with making the snack bar, I'm going to say, uh, delete the semicolon and say snack bar dot make. And I have to provide a view. And this is why I made this um, object for my relative layout. That way I can provide um, the layout and then make the snack bar appear at the bottom of our screen, which is basically a relative layout. Then uh, if we do control P, we can see another thing that we provide is some text. So I'm going to say this is a message. Then regarding the duration, it's very similar to um, a toast. In that we have to say snack bar dot length long. And if we were using a toast, then it would be toast dot length long. Then once I do that similar to a toast, once again, I can say dot show. And this will um, display our snack bar. Then I'm going to add a semicolon. Then I'm going to say in order to show, display the snack bar, I'm going to say snack dot show. And I'm going to run this. So here I have the app open and I have my button. I actually forgot to provide it with some text, so you can go back and change that if you want. But basically the point is when I click this, you can see this message appears at the bottom saying this is a message. And that's essentially a snack bar. What I'm going to show you in the next short bit segment is how to modify this, such as like how to change the text color as well as the text size. Maybe even add a button where we can give the option to dismiss the snack bar. So like somewhere over here, when you click it, there's an option to dismiss it. And I'm going to cover that in length in the next short segment. Until then, happy developing.